Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are gonna read a PDF file with the help of surface automation. So first, understand what is surface automation. So basically, the surface automation technique that can be used as an alternative when technology connectors are not available. It is the process of creating automation according to images or graphics on the screen. We can use surface automation in at least two cases first when we can't use controls programmatically such that by element identifiers or when the system under automation is changing means elements identifiers are changing it can also be faster than normal scripting three two one this is the pdf file i'm going to read this get the business object and configure the application modeler with surface automation in the next step we need to define a new application model name as given below now based on the application type in new select one means a browser based application and now indicate the type of application being used So in this step I am going to give the path and here I will paste the URL of the PDF file. Click on next and finish. As you know, we can launch the application using the launch button at the bottom. Application has launched, means PDF file has launched. Now click on identify and let's buy the PDF. I want to read this paragraph, but I am unable to spy this in any of the reason or in any of the spy mode. So I am going to use the reason mode for spying. Let's spy this window in reason spy mode. Select this complete window. See, reason editor has opened. Now, we don't want this whole window, just we need this paragraph or this heading. So, let's crop this paragraph. Click on reason and select this paragraph. Rename this. Let's take one more element. You can see both the element in the application modeler. You can see their properties attributes as well. Let's highlight these both elements. Go to object studio and select the navigate stage to launch the PTF file. PDF may take a couple of seconds to launch so we are gonna use wait stage to wait a couple of seconds. Now take a read stage as we generally use a read stage to read something. I am going to read the title first so I have drag drop the title. Now you can see there are a lot of actions to read the file, read the text. We are gonna use read text with OCR. We are using read text with OCR action to read this PDF. Let's create a data item to store the result. I have triggered the process. See, it's completed, and you can see in the title data item. 